This is calculator question number 18. College Board gives us a word problem describing a collection of 10,000 beads where a random sample gives us an estimate that 15% are red. 15% of 10,000 is about 1,500 red. But because this is from a sample, we've got some uncertainty, and that uncertainty is described with a margin of error of 2%. 2% of 10,000 is 200. And that 200 represents how large the error could plausibly be in either direction from the estimate. So we're estimating 1,500, and plausibly the number of red beads could be as low as 1,300 or as high as 1,700. So, if R is the number of red beads, choice B is exactly what that margin of error tells us. Choice C, we're saying that the plausible numbers are only less than the best estimate. Choice D, we're saying the plausible numbers are way less than the best estimate. And choice E, we're saying the plausible numbers are larger than the best estimate. So B is the most plausible estimate of the number of beads. The margin of error is defined in a rather intricate formal manner, but essentially it means if you repeat the sampling procedure a very large number of times, about 95% of all samples will contain the true value somewhere plus or minus the margin of error from the estimate in that sample. So 95% of all samples the true value R would be between 1300 and 1700 is a plausible interpretation, not exactly formal correct, formally correct, but close for this word problem. College Board is likely to ask you to interpret margin of error, so make sure you review this topic or learn it if you have not already covered it in class, and come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.